YouTube, what's happening? In my hotel room chilling. Next month. Just got through eating Chinese food. <laughs> Watching TV. Got casting over. That is what's planned today. Learning all about this trucking game, right? From YouTube. Got my laptop. TV. HDMI. So I got my CDL test in exactly two days. Today is Wednesday. Tomorrow's the last day I can practice for it. And uh, from being here four weeks, I've been at this hotel for four weeks straight. And uh, it's been fun. I enjoy my hotel room. I got my laptop, keep me plenty entertained. Uh, I don't miss anything back at home. And uh, definitely got paid them up $2,000. So, uh, I mean, it's been good. They pay us $400 a week for um, orientation pay. It comes out to like three fifty seven dollars for me after taxes. But all that aside, um, you know, I started in February over at Prime. It didn't work out there. And uh, now I'm here at night. And uh, long story short, I've been practicing for my, for my CDL since February. Uh, I got more than 75 hours on the road. If you add, well, that's at Prime. At Prime, I got more than 75 hours on the road, real world training. And uh, came tonight, got four weeks out on the pad. And I say about a couple of hours out on the road. I'm a good down shifter, good up shifter, good road tester. And, uh, but that's not what I'm concerned about. I'm concerned about this 90% of the people that took the test, that I seen take the test since I've been up here for four weeks straight. They all failed, they first try. Yeah. They all failed. Now, at night, you don't take the test here. You take the test. They get, they basically give you the truck. Well, they don't give you the truck, but they have a train to take you to wherever you test at, wherever you're from. So, like, uh, I'm from Nashville, Tennessee. They had me testing in Jacksonville, Tennessee, so it's like an hour drive from here. Now, I have never seen the course. I don't know where this place is at. All I know is it's on the, some type of dirt road, some gravel, some rocks or something. That they done made a course. It's real small. It's nothing like the training pad, and, uh, that's why I'm taking my test. Now, the people that test for Mississippi, which is where I'm at right now, where the terminal is located, the people that take their test at night, a lot of people fail the first try. That's the key word. The first try they fail. Second and third try they usually, they usually pass. But, uh, you know, I don't want to be one of the guys doing the walk of shame because uh, it's just not fun. Because every time, well, to, just to take the test, they pay $300. And what I'm concerned about is my pre-trip. Yes, pre-trip. I've been doing pre-trip since February, but it, there is a catch to it. I'd have been in so many states now, learning different pre-trips for every single state almost. And every time I get to, every time it's time for me to test, the words change. Like for example, uh, properly mounted and secured, not cracked, been or broken. That's how that's how you say it over at Prime when you test it now. He is Properly, now nah, he is properly mounted and secured, not cracked, damaged, or loose. That's that's in Mrs. Now nah, that's for Tennessee, and then it's like a whole other set of words for um, Mississippi and other states like Florida, for example. And uh, in some states, you can't even you can't even uh, drive the uh, foot fifty uh, three or fifty four foot trailer. You guys are have a twenty eight foot trailer. I'm just mumbling now, but uh, you know I don't want to be the ninety percent to fail so. I'm making this video to show y'all what I did differently just to pass. That way, uh, I'm probably trying to give y'all some hints. So the first thing is, I don't, get, I don't know. I don't know what the first thing is. I don't know. What am I going to do differently to pass the first time? Because I'm trying to get up out of here. Because for me, I don't think it's going to be no second tries. And uh, I know it's a lot of people at night that's going to see this video. Thanks to the maintenance man. I'm pretty sure you're gonna see everybody, right? Anyways, uh You hear that? You hear that dead silence? I don't want I don't want to get back in the truck knowing I failed my test and then I gotta do dead silence all the way back back to night. On tight. Underneath that you got the air tanks, it's three air tanks, proper man secure, not crack damage loose, none of the air tanks are missing, none of the air tanks drops. The straps itself for the air tanks are proper mounted secure, not crack damage or loose. None are missing, all the clamps are on tight. Moving on out. 
got the uh let me think let me think let me think got my fuel tank i think that's where i'm at hopefully i ain't missing nothing i'm only gonna do the traffic because i ain't gonna keep going through the trailer i could do it but like i said it's i'm coming up on 20 minutes my battery for the day in a second now fuel tank proper matter is secure not crack damage or loose the lid is on tight i'm gonna take the lid off the seal around the uh, uh the seal around the cap yourself proper matter is secure not crack damage or loose no braze exposes the cuts i'm gonna screw it back on tell them it's on tight my fuel tank ain't leaking ain't nothing leaking from the cap uh, fuel tank straps is holding the fuel fuel tank in place proper ground is secure and i crack damage the loose all the bolts on tight all the clamps on tight got my exhaust pipe in the back of the tractor I even though i already named it an engine come on you got you got to name it again proper amount of secure and i crack damage the loose it's not leaking no signs of carbon or sight whatever that means top of the tractor you got the the dot reflective tape Proper amount of secure, not crack damage or loose, and it's at least 50% visible. Clearance lights. Uh, well, actually, I don't have clearance lights at the top. My clearance lights are actually on the back, on the front of the tractor. I mean, on the front of the trailer. But uh, I do got my working light, my working light for the tractor if it's nighttime. So that's proper amount of secure, not crack damage or loose, and it's properly cleaned. Coming down to my catwalk, proper amount of secure, not crack damage or loose. Uh, no signs of uh, debris or objects. Okay, underneath that is a drive shelf. Proper amount of secure and I crack damage or loose. For this particular state, I gotta say it's straight. It's not twisted. The not twisted part is not on there, but I do gotta say it's straight. Okay, we did the drive shelf. Uh, what else is part of it? My torque arm, proper amount of secure and I crack damage or loose. My torque arm is straight. I gotta rename the frame again, so my frame, proper amount of secure and I crack damage or loose. No illegal wells. The mounting bolts for the frame, proper amount of security, not crack damage loose. All the mounting bolts are accounted for, none are missing. They properly tightened. 